Within the Indonesian culture, a name, a family name, bears influence. It tells you where you're from, which province you're from, and what culture you were brought up in. I was born in Jakarta, and I grew up with a last name that has significance historically and politically. And when people uh, found out what my last name was, oh, you're connected to such and such. And there is either a sense of uh, a greater sense of acceptance and respect, or otherwise a cynicism. It did give it a little bit of pressure uh, in terms of my growing up and what people expect from me. They would expect me to perform or to, uh, to speak and to behave. I moved to Australia with my parents and my sister at the age of 11. Within a home, we would pray and we would read the Bible. But my idea of God the Father in the Old Testament gave me an, a picture of him as a God who, who needs to be respected and who needs to be pleased. And if something is wrong, uh, you know, I would have to really say sorry. There's a, a, a fear, a great degree of fear uh, in myself, in my growing up, I guess, of the understanding of God the Father. And in my university years, I started to question some things. And it was really towards the end of my university years that I started to question the validity of the Bible. And I started to question the God behind the Bible. I started to question the, uh, His sovereignty and also whether or not I can depend upon the Bible. I came through an experience where I was asking God for something and I really needed Him to be there and to answer my request, but He didn't. And I became angry and I started to distance myself away. Not completely, but I just started to question. I had doubts going through my mind. A number of months after that, we were, as a family, we attended a seminar. And at the seminar, I, I started to be challenged in terms of my view of God. But I was still very skeptical. I was studying science at the time, and there were things that would contradict, and especially even creation and evolution. And there was like a big jigsaw puzzle in which holes were there and I could not connect um, the pictures of God together. There was a preacher that came to town. He spoke about Jesus, his death on the cross, paid everything. And that gave me a glimpse uh, of the understanding of God's love. As I studied further, my picture of God started to change I connected those uh, holes together and it gave me a completely different understanding of God and it drew me closer to Him. The Jesus in the New Testament and the Father in the Old Testament bear the same kind of character. Caring, compassionate, forgiving, merciful, loving, gentle. That helped me to bring myself closer to Him. In Leviticus 20 verse 8, there is a reference to God's name, but it also takes it further that the impact of God's name upon His people. It says, Jehovah Makadesh Kim, or the Lord who makes a person holy. And I thought that's a very powerful thing where God's name is not only just a name that you know, it's like my grandfather was a uh, prime minister just under 10 years. In having a last name that was well-known or prominent, it is not a name that transformed me. And it's only when I actually started to know about God's name, when we take it in, and when we meditate upon it, when we know who He is, and embrace Him for who He is, and accept Him, and, and have that relationship with Him, He is actually the one who makes us holy making you holy is setting you apart from the ordinary things, making you different, but for a specific purpose. He is the one who will 
provide that very power. And that's just, that just transformed my experience and draw me even closer to an understanding of his greatness.